Very happy today to be joined by Tony Khan. Under unfortunate circumstances, outpouring of support, huge outpouring of support for John Moxley. And Tony, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well, Brian. Thanks for asking. Uh, and it's great to be here with you. You know, uh, I think it's good circumstances. Uh, really, it's a good thing that John is doing, and it's a brave thing, and we're all here to support him. Now, when did he approach you with all of this, and was it was it yesterday, shortly before everybody else heard about it? It was just in the past couple of days, yeah, from talking to him and Renee. Uh, you know, Renee's been talking to him, and, and Renee uh, spoke to us and said that, you know, they they both thought this was the best way to go, and uh, from talking to both of them, we completely agree, and I just think, uh, you know, it's, it's some things are more important than wrestling, and in this case, as a wrestling company, the most important thing we can do is support John and his recovery. Now, obviously, the important thing is John and his recovery, but that, of course, does impact the World Title Eliminator Tournament and a lot of other things. And I know that you've spent uh, much of the last couple of days redoing the Dynamite show tonight. And uh, <laughs> what is what is going on as you run around furiously this afternoon? Well, it's a... It, it's a great description of how I'm running around. It's not furious, though. It's fun, and I love wrestling. So card changes are nothing new. And frankly, in the pandemic, uh, we learned how to handle card changes pretty well, I think. And, uh, you know, this is a major change. And John is one of the most important people in the company, but we have great depth. And so to address uh, the Eliminator semifinal situation and Who's going to be wrestling Orange Cassidy? I'll address that tonight on Dynamite. And I think uh, there's a very logical answer, and we'll reach a very logical conclusion. It should be a great match, and I'm really excited about the tournament. There are a lot of other announcements about tonight's show that I had been holding off on making because I really wanted to show respect to John, and I felt like uh, announcing matches didn't make sense when we had such an important announcement to make early this week. So I've held back, and, and we just announced the world champion Kenny Omega is going to be uh, in action. I think uh, our company account was going to be posting that right around the time I went on here. Uh, I have booked him in a rematch of a match that kind of set the Internet on fire about a year and a half ago uh, when we were taping through peak pandemic in Atlanta. There was a match that really got a lot of buzz, particularly on Twitter, before Alan Angels was in the Dark Order, he wrestled Kenny Omega, and he put on a, a great performance, and it was just a really entertaining match, and I think took a lot of people by surprise, and it got Alan Angels a job here, frankly. And he's been an important part of the Dark Order, and ahead of the Kenny Omega Hangman Page world title main event uh, at Full Gear, and of course last week having seen the Dark Order and the Elite Eight-Man Tag, which Hangman Page got involved in at the end i thought it would be a great match for tonight and a great way to preview full gear and also uh just an exciting bell to bell match so tonight kenny omega is going one-on-one -on -one versus alan angels now you have said in in previous interviews that one of the one of the people that you really learned a lot of wrestling from was of all people jim Cornette. is that right <laughs> yeah now, Jim Cornette, during his run in Ohio Valley Wrestling when it was a developmental uh, company, I mean, he dealt with stuff on a daily basis. He'd he'd have feuds. They'd be called up as a tag team, the famous situation with the Bashams. And it was always fascinating to me as a fan to watch how he handled all of those different situations. And I feel that it actually, as good a booker as he was, I think it made him a better booker having to deal with things like that. And the Moxley, it makes a lot of sense. yes, the Moxley situation. I mean, it's public. It's obviously very public right now. But uh, there have been other situations with the pandemic and injuries. Things have later come out that nobody knew about at the time. How would you classify what has happened here publicly with John Moxley as compared to other things that have happened behind the scenes that have caused you have to make some big changes to to some of your plans? Well, it's very different in some ways it's more difficult because we've never had anybody get uh from covid you know such a bad case of covid particularly that you know through the pandemic that we were worried they weren't going to make it you know everyone uh that at any point got sick in the last couple of years here and we've done a, a really good job keeping a bubble i think uh in general 
people have come back and been okay. So uh, this is a little different because it's an ongoing situation. It's, it's one day at a time. So it's not like, you know, somebody's going to kick COVID in three, four days, five days, and come back two weeks later. It's a very different situation. So John's uh, at the forefront of everybody's mind right now. It's very different in dealing with it with a wrestling show, too, because we've lost a person here or there through COVID at times. But I think the most challenging situation, calling back to the Omega Angels match that I just referenced, was that time when we had to tape weeks of television in Atlanta, and I wasn't sure how many weeks it was going to go over, and I just had to I put stuff in order that I thought would make sense. And then... I put the shows together in post-production with all the stuff we had shot over that 24 hour period. And uh, now going back and looking at how far Kenny Omega has come in that time, he was a part of the world tag team champions teaming with hangman page. And now seeing where hangman is at since then, you know, it's pretty uh, good place to look back to, I think. And then of course, Alan angels was a guy trying out for a job and He succeeded. He got a job here, and he's part of a great group, the Dark Order, that's got a very important place in AEW history, uh, especially because of the legacy that Mr. Brody Lee left behind. And so it's it's different in many ways. The most challenging period, I think, ever by far was uh, when I had to book Omega versus Angels 1, when uh, we had less than 30% of the roster available. I think it was 29% of our crew was there in Atlanta and had to use a lot of extras, but a lot of people got jobs out of it, like Alan Angels, like Lee Johnson, Anna Jay, and Preston Vance, and many others uh, who debuted there, Captain Sean Dean, and some others who started with us in Atlanta at those tapings and became important people in the company. And also in terms of booking matches and, uh, you know, people that – You referenced with Jim Cornette, I thought that's a good segue to talk about another match that I put together for tonight uh, that I'm really excited about. I like working with other wrestling promotions, and one company that AEW has worked with from day one is AAA. And AAA tag team titles were defended on the first AEW pay-per-view, Double or Nothing. And we've had the AAA tag team titles as a part of AEW really from day one because the Lucha Brothers and the Young Bucks had held those belts up until very recently, both, you know, for the for the last couple of years, those are the only teams that had held them. And uh, now, of course, FTR have won those belts. And I don't know, did you guys see the open challenge they put out last night? I haven't seen it yet, no. Okay. So they put out an open challenge last night. It's a very good promo. It might look familiar to, to real uh, old uh, school wrestling fans. It, some of the circumstances of this promo so they have put out an open challenge for tonight's show but there is an exception they will not wrestle the lucha brothers they want to wrestle luchadors they want to take on great mass luchadors and prove that ftr are the greatest lucha team of all time but there is a catch they will not wrestle the lucha brothers they've already beaten them they say and so i went out and tried to find the two best luchadors that i could get to take on FTR knowing that they're not going to step in the ring with the Lucha Brothers. So FTR are going to defend the AAA tag title tonight against Samurai Del Sol and Aerostar wow. on Dynamite. Wow. Yep, breaking news on Observer Live. So so uh, obviously we've got um, the, the Forbidden Door. I believe you've once said, I am the Forbidden Door. <laughs> I am the Forbidden Door. <laughs> yes. I trademarked it. Yes. It's now, fun. we have moments here before going to break, but that does bring the obvious question, the Forbidden Door with Impact Wrestling. Is that Forbidden Door still open? Because there were rumors that the Forbidden Door might have, uh, there might be a doorstop at the moment. No, it's a, you know what? It's still open to do stuff. I, I like those guys a lot, and we've done a lot of great stuff. We don't have anything booked right now, and that's different than how it had been for the last year or so, because we, you know, for... Most of 2021, we had stuff on paper planned, and we don't really have anything locked in right now, but that's no reason we couldn't come up with something. I mean, Scott and I talk pretty regularly, and I've enjoyed going to Nashville and working with those guys. My post-production office is literally upstairs from where they tape. So hold that thought. We'll very convenient. Yeah, we'll get more to this after the break. Stand by, everybody. Wrestling Observer Live. CM Punk versus Garcia. 
fast moving neck breaker, leg sub hold on. I got a P. P gets leg. <laughs> 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 this was 10 and 8, 21. Closed line. Pil Pillman punches back and forth. How'd Pillman get in this match? <laughs> I don't know. How What's happening? Get... If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.